Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to switch your logo on a fixed header in Divi. So let's dive in and let me show you how we created this. In order for us to create a switching logo on our fixed header in Divi, we need to have a few things in place. So first of all, you need to make sure that you're running the latest Divi and also you need an active child theme. If you need any instructions on how to set up your child theme and install it on your website, we have a link to the post where you can follow this step by step. You also need a logo, which is about 200 by 131 pixels. And we need two uh, versions of this logo. We need a black and white logo and we need like your normal logo that you use. And we're also going to be using some CSS code. So if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So let's start off by setting up our menu options. So I'm going to come over here, click on theme customizer. And then I'm going to come over here to header and navigation, click on header format. And right here, you need to make sure that your header style is set to default. Now it's time to set up our primary menu bar. So I'm going to go back one, one step, click on primary menu bar. So let's start off with our menu height. So let's set our menu height to 105 pixels. Our logo max height needs to be 80 and our text size need to, needs to be 20. Okay, so our next stage is to go and um, adjust our fixed navigation. So we're going to come over here, click on fixed navigation settings. And right here on the uh, fixed menu height, we need to set it to 60 pixels. And the text size needs to be 20. Click on save and publish. And then we're going to add some CSS code. So we're going to go back a few times until we get to this page where we have additional CSS. So I'm going to click on additional CSS and paste my CSS code in here. Like that. So for now, I'm going to click on save and publish. And then next, I'm going to add my logo. So the logo that we need to add now is the black and white logo. So I'm just going to open my new tab so I can keep my previous one open because I'm going to come back here and make some changes. So in my new tab, I'm going to go to dashboard and then I'm going to come over here to my media, media library. Click on add new, select files. Now my files are in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to click here and just make sure that I've got the right logo. Click on open. Okay, so now my logo is in my uh, media library. So I need to get the URL to this logo. So I'm just going to click once on it. And this is the link or the URL to my logo. So I need to copy that. Then I'm just going to close this for now. So back over here, what we need to do is to insert the uh, image URL right in here. Like that. And then I'm going to click on save and publish. So now when I scroll, do you notice that um, my logo is changing to the black and white logo? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some CSS code which will invert our logo. So this is the code that I've added here. So once you've done that, click on save. And by the way, if you'd like to follow along step by step with these uh, CSS code snippets, you can go to our post which I've linked in the show notes below. Okay, so now that I've added my CSS code snippet, I'm going to go back here and we are going to go to our header and navigation, click on fixed navigation settings. And this is where you want to add your primary menu background color. Okay, so all you have to do is to click on it and then you just add your color right here. So once you added your color, click on save and publish. And now notice when I scroll, you can see now that uh, my logo has been inverted. It, start off, it starts off as black, but now we've managed to invert it to white. So this is actually quite good if depending on the type of background that you have. So depending on what background you have, you can either use this or not. So I'm just going to come over here and uh, remove that transparency. So now it's solid. Okay, I'm going to click on save and publish. So the next step is adding a transition effect when switching your logo on the fixed header. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new logo to the header.php file. So over here, I've just logged into my files for my website. Now, if your site is hosted on a server, you need FTP client. So you would need to have that information to access your files for your website. So right now, I've got all my files right here in front of me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab 
and uh, this is where I am going to locate my child theme. So I'm going to come over here to WP Content. We're going to go to Themes, and you can see here this is my DV 3.0 child theme. So I'm going to double click into that. So what I'm going to do here is to drag my header dot php over to my child theme. So I'm going to search for my file. So I'm going to come over here to WP Content Themes. I'm going to double click Divi. So this is where I'll have my header.php and it's right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a copy and drag it here into my DV child theme. So you can see now we have this header.php. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open this with a page editor. Now it doesn't matter which page editor, editor you use. I use Atom. So I'm just going to come over here and open this header.php with Atom. Right, so what I'm going to do is I need to navigate and find a particular line of code in this code. Okay, so what we need to do is to enter this code um, on around about line number 216. So the code that we need to enter needs to come right below this code. So I'm just going to uh, enter some spaces and I'm going to paste my code right under it. So the next thing we need to do here is to replace here this, uh, this information which says enter new logo image URL. So this is where we need to enter the link to our logo. So to get to our logos, what we need to do is to come over here to our media library. So I'm going to click on library and I'm going to click on the logo and I am going to highlight this URL here to the logo. And then I'm going to go back to my file and paste it there. So finally, you need to save this file. So the, um, changes will take place. So I'm just going to save this and then I'm going to go back to my website and we're going to add the last code to make this work. So now it's time to add our CSS code. So I'm going to go back a few steps here until I find additional CSS. Click here and then I'm going to paste my CSS code in here. Okay, so I'm going to click on save and publish and then we're going to have a quick preview of this page. Okay, so when I scroll, you can see that we have that beautiful transition effect. So if you'd like your logo to be centered, there's also some CSS code which you can add. And this CSS code is in the post which I've linked in the show notes below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.